This presentation provides you with basic systems knowledge and operating procedures for Honeywell TCAS-2 traffic alert and collision avoidance system installed in the A319 and A320. Each pilot must complete this course and pass a computer-based test to become TCAS-2 qualified on the A319 and A320. The TCAS-2 system installed in the Airbus combines the controls for the altitude encoding transponder with the traffic alerting and collision avoidance system. The components of the TCAS system are the flight instrument screens, which are used to display target location and avoidance commands, two loudspeakers mounted beside the instrument panel, and a control head located on the center instrument console. TCAS traffic alerts and advisories are displayed on the primary flight display and the navigation display. Resolution advisory messages are displayed on the vertical speed tape in the primary flight display and color-coded TCAS targets are shown on the navigation display. Standard TCAS oral commands are issued over the cockpit speakers. We'll discuss the target symbols and avoidance commands in more detail later in this presentation. Transponder codes are selected with the unlabeled Code Select knob. The Ident button is used to squawk Ident when instructed by air traffic controllers. Two transponders are installed to provide systems redundancy. Control of the units is determined by the selector switch position. The two systems cannot operate in the active mode simultaneously. This TCAS system runs continuous self-tests. Therefore, the test position on the mode switch is deactivated and no operator test procedures are necessary. The ability to switch between relative and absolute altitude readouts is also deactivated. Only relative traffic altitude is displayed on the nav display. The crew may select an altitude block above or below the normal altitude to be shown on the nav display. When in normal mode, the display coverage is 2,700 feet above and below your own altitude. When above or below is selected, the coverage includes an additional 9,900 feet for a total vertical coverage of 12,600 feet in the direction selected. There is no off position on the mode selector switch. Both systems are powered in the standby mode whenever normal electrical power is applied to the aircraft. When operating on battery power only, the transponder is not powered. If the transponder only mode is selected, TCAS functions are in standby mode. An ECAM message alerts the crew if the systems are in the standby mode when airborne. Now, let's look at the operating modes. The TA mode is used to allow traffic advisories while suppressing nuisance advisory messages when TCAS geometry is not reliable. Use of the TA mode is not recommended except in situations where false resolution advisories are known to occur. Recent revisions to TCAS software have significantly reduced nuisance RAs such as those previously encountered when using parallel runways in visual flight conditions or between aircraft using VFR altitude separation rules in heavy traffic areas. We'll introduce TCAS filters in a moment. The TA symbol is an amber circle with a data tag used to report relative altitude and vertical path trends and is accompanied by the oral message, traffic, traffic. The vertical arrow is displayed only when the target's vertical rate is greater than 500 feet per minute. The data tag always displays relative altitude separation. A target without an encoding transponder is always displayed as co-altitude traffic with no trend arrow. No resolution advisories are available in this case.
This is an example of a traffic advisory message. The target at 11 o'clock is 300 feet below your present altitude and climbing at greater than 500 feet per minute. An oral alert, traffic, traffic, is announced over the loudspeakers. No other threat or non-threat traffic is displayed. The TARA mode allows both traffic alerts and threat resolution advisories. Non-threat traffic is displayed only when a TA or RA is present. This mode may be used to reduce screen clutter in heavy traffic areas. It has no other advantages over the TFC mode, which we'll address next. A resolution advisory occurs from 15 to 35 seconds before the threat is predicted to enter the TCAS protected airspace. Its visual symbol is a red square. An RA avoidance command will maintain or increase vertical separation relative to a threat contact. Pilots are authorized to deviate from an ATC clearance to the extent necessary to comply with the TCAS resolution advisory but should keep altitude deviations to the minimum required to maintain safe separation. When the clear of conflict message is announced, the pilot should return to the previously cleared altitude. Vertical guidance commands are presented on the vertical speed tape in the primary flight display. The pilot must maneuver to avoid the prohibited red portion of the tape and remain in the green area of the vertical speed tape. In this example, your aircraft has safe separation at the present vertical speed and altitude. The preventive advisory calls for monitoring vertical speed to avoid the red prohibited area of the tape. Note the proximate traffic symbol at 11 o'clock within 6 miles. The TCAS-2 system uses standard TCAS oral messages. Traffic, traffic is the TA alert message. The following messages require response within five seconds using a smooth 0.25 G pitch rate, a typical instrument flight maneuver. Monitor vertical speed, monitor vertical speed. Monitor vertical rate and minimize deviation from cleared altitude and effect on other aircraft. Climb, 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 or descend, descend, descend. Set vertical speed to the area shown in green on the VSI. Maneuver at 1,500 to 2,000 feet per minute within 5 seconds to avoid the red prohibited area on the VSI tape. Climb, crossing, climb. Climb, crossing, climb. Or, descend, crossing, descend. Descend, crossing, descend. Set vertical speed to that shown in green on the VSI tape and avoid the red prohibited area. You will cross the threat aircraft's altitude. Reduce climb, reduce climb, or reduce descent, reduce descent. Reduce vertical rate to the minimum necessary to avoid the red prohibited area. These messages require response within 2.5 seconds using a controlled 0.35 G pitch rate. This is a pitch rate of approximately 3 degrees per second and is usually caused by a maneuvering threat. Increase climb, increase climb, or increase descent, increase descent. Increase the vertical rate to that shown on the VSI. Maneuver at 2,500 to 3,000 feet per minute within 2.5 seconds. Climb, climb now, climb, climb now. Or, descend, descend now, descend, descend now. This message is used when TCAS determines that a reversal of the vertical maneuver is necessary to maintain separation. Maneuver at the increased rate. Clear of conflict confirms the end of the event and that vertical separation is increasing. The TCAS system may command maneuvers which significantly reduce stall margins in some situations. Be especially cautious when operating in these circumstances. After the loss of an engine, when the bank angle exceeds 15 degrees, 
When ambient temperatures vary more than plus or minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, performance may be degraded beyond TCAS predictions. When operating in high drag configurations with reduced buffet margins or at speeds below recommended operating speeds. These are examples of the visual guidance commands displayed on the vertical speed tape of the primary flight display. The sequence shown progresses from merely monitoring vertical rate to a descent command followed by an increased descent rate and finally a reversal command to climb rather than descend. When vertical rate commands are given, the pilot has five seconds to react and begin a climb or descent at the rate recommended by the green bar on the tape. Resolution advisories may be corrective, requiring an evasive vertical maneuver to maintain safe separation, or preventive, in which case no change in vertical speed is recommended. In some cases, the original command must be increased or even reversed. The reaction to increased or reversed commands must be made within 2.5 seconds to ensure the desired separation. This is another example of a resolution advisory message. In this case, there are two conflicting targets with red threat areas both above and below your altitude. A non-threat target is displayed at 11 o'clock, 7 miles, as a hollow diamond. The traffic mode allows the continuous display of non-threat traffic as well as all TAs and RAs. This is the normal operating mode for United Crews. Non-threat traffic is displayed as a white diamond with a data tag whenever the traffic mode is selected. Data tags are the same for non-threat traffic as for TARA symbols. Proximate traffic represents non-threat traffic within six miles of your own aircraft and is displayed concurrently with TAs and RAs to improve situational awareness. PAs are solid diamonds to increase visibility. Proximate advisory symbols, PAs, are displayed for non-threat aircraft within six miles laterally and 1,200 feet vertically. Other transponder encoder equipped non-threat traffic within 2,700 feet vertically are shown as hollow white diamonds. The display may be switched to show all transponder equipped traffic up to 9,900 feet above or below your own altitude. The TCAS-2 system applies certain logical filters to avoid issuing dangerous or unnecessary traffic alerts and advisory commands. TCAS does not issue a TA when standard IFR separation exists. Aircraft separated by 2,000 feet above or 1,000 feet below flight level 290 are displayed as proximate traffic within the TA alert area. RAs remain active, however, and failure to decrease vertical rate prior to level off at assigned altitude may cause unnecessary RAs in this situation. All descent advisories are inhibited below 1,100 feet. Resolution advisories and oral messages are inhibited below 1,000 feet, and a white TA-only tag is displayed at the bottom of the NAB display. No TCAS contacts are displayed below 380 feet AGL. These filters generally eliminate the need to use TA mode to suppress nuisance alerts in heavy traffic areas and during parallel runway operations. TCAS symbols are shown on the NAV display only when NAV or ARC mode is selected. For older aircraft, the range selection must be 40 miles or less to display TCAS symbols. Newer aircraft have been modified to allow TCAS display at all range selections. Consult the flight manual for more information on aircraft numbers. When a TCAS message is present with the plan mode selected, a TCAS change mode message is displayed. 
it would be confusing to display relative bearing information in this north-up map presentation. If a TCAS message is present when the selected nav or arc range is greater than 40 miles, a TCAS change range message is displayed for older aircraft. The color of the message corresponds to the type of message, amber for TAs and red for RAs. Oral messages and visual command guidance on the PFD are not affected by the ND range and mode selections. Symbols will appear on the correct azimuth at the extreme limits of the display when they cannot be displayed because of the range scale selected. Data tags are color-coded the same as the complete symbol to indicate the level of threat. If symbols cannot be shown in the arc mode or because TCAS is temporarily unable to track the contact, the data tag information will be displayed at the bottom of the screen as shown here. This situation may occur if the antenna is momentarily shielded or due to a partial system fault. Resolution advisory commands remain valid regardless of the NAV display presentation. A TCAS fault is indicated by a red flag message on the ND and PFD displays, an ATC fail light on the control head, and an ECAM message. To complete this topic, you must pass a computer-based test in the Learning Center prior to your check ride. This graphic is a sample of the test. Sign on to one of the designated CBT testing stations in the Learning Center and select the A320 TCAS module. In the test, you'll be presented with eight different TCAS scenarios. You must select the correct action in response to the TCAS advisories and commands. Answers are made by choosing the correct vertical speed response from the selections available to the right of the vertical speed tape on the computer display. Your response time must be less than the 5 or 2.5 seconds required by the scenario and the type of vertical command involved. You may miss only three questions. If you fail the test, review this presentation and ask the office personnel to reset the program so you may try again. Clear of conflict.